everyone this is a sequence that is created for your parents or for the people who have never done the yoga before it's a very easy sequence it takes only 10 to 12 minutes of a day and helps to open all the joints and those muscles which you are going to use during the day for the general task so let's begin we sit on a comfortable pose keeping your eyes closed and trying to relax your mind you can breathe four to five deep breath, keeping the back straight if it's possible. If not, then you can sit on the top of the towel or a blanket or a cushion. We slowly begin with the warming of the back and the upper body. You bring your hands beside your thighs. Inhale, raise your arms up, keeping the back straight. Exhale, arms down. Inhale, arms up. You can also pause this video and continue this exercise for 10 breaths. It's extremely helpful to open the shoulder mobility, especially for the people over the age of 60. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, slowly twist on your right. Keeping the back straight with me, there is Kitty Schneider. She's a yoga teacher at the studio. She is demonstrating the posture in more close up. Inhale, she will come back. Exhale, she slowly turn on the left, keeping her back straight and breathing for two to five breaths. You can increase the time duration with the, time, with the practice. Exhale, arms down. We will do the side stretch. Inhale, take your right arm up, slowly giving the weight on the left arm and tilting a bit on the left side. You feel the stretch on the right side of the flank, breathing deep, two to five breaths. You can also repeat the sequence by pausing the video, having a deep breath, inhaling, exhaling deep. Inhale, slowly come up. Take the left arm up, slowly open the chest and keeping the, keeping the trunk straight. Concentrate on the left side of the flank, deep breathing to your abdomen. This is helpful for those people who have the issues with the neck. Exhale, arms down. We we'll slowly do the one exercise for the warming up of the hip joint. Inhale, raise the arm up. Exhale, slowly bend carefully forward. If you cannot touch the floor, it's is also okay. It will go with the time. And breathing on this posture for five to ten breath. So this is a basic warming up. Now we begin with the joint exercises. Slowly stretch your legs on the mat keeping the back straight. We begin with the exercise of the toes. This is extremely helpful for the people over the age of 60 if they are suffering from the inflammation of the joints. Inhale, you pull the toes out. Exhale, bring them back. Inhale, out. Exhale, try to move only the toes, not your ankles. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Doing this sequence for a month can slowly bring you to the normal classes of 60 or 90 minutes in a studio. Inhale, toes out one more time. Exhale, bring it back. Inhale, exhale. Inhale. Now begin with the ankles. Inhale, pull your ankle out. Exhale. Inhale, plant a flexion of the feet. Exhale, dorsiflex. Inhale, stretch on the shin. Exhale, stretch on the calf. Inhale, very helpful for the people who feel fatigued during the small walks, the short walks. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, every joint exercise you can repeat for 10 to 15 times, as the time permits. We begin with the knee exercise. Inhale, pull the left knee to your chest. Exhale. Inhale, right leg. Exhale. Inhale, left leg. Exhale. Inhale, right leg. This is helpful for the people having issues with the knee. Inhale, left. Exhale, right. Also trying to do five to six times with each leg.
Now we go with both the knees. Inhale. You can do it with your capacity. Exhale. Inhale. Maybe it's not possible in the beginning to keep the feet up from the floor. You can keep the feet down. Inhale. Pulling the knee to the chest. Exhale. Bring it forward. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. One more time. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. We begin with rowing the boat. This is a special exercise for toning the abdomen and bringing the flexibility of the back. First we do the warming up. Exhale, arms down. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, arms down. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, arms down. Inhale, arms up. Exhale one more time. We stay there for the five breath. Try to breathe deep. Five to six breath. If you cannot hold your toe, you can use the strap. Inhale, arm up. And we bring the fist of the arm. We bring the rowing the boat. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, bend forward. Do it as if you are trying to row a boat. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, straight back. This is extremely helpful to tone the abdomen to bring the core strength, improve the capacity of the lungs and releases the stiffness of the back muscles. You can do it 10 to 15 breath. You can also repeat this sequence two times a day. Now we'll slowly begin with the standing postures. We'll slowly get up and stand. And these are the postures which help to strengthen the legs, what the part of the body that takes the weight during the whole day. Keeping the legs far apart equal to the width of your shoulders. Inhale, raise the arms up. Exhale, arms down. Inhale, warming up of the total back. Exhale, arms down. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, arms down. Inhale, arms up. Slowly, you will try to hold your elbows. As you see, exhale, bend forward. If you have a lower back issues, you should do it extremely slowly. Inhale, come up. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, come up. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, come up. Exhale, slowly bend while flexing the knee. This is done to strengthen the psoas. There's an iliopsoas, what helps you to walk during the day. And it's a main core muscle. The weakness of the psoas can also cause the lower back pain. You stay over there. Slowly open your arms. You can use the block. If you don't have blocks in the house, you can use the chair or sofa or table. You slowly bring an extension making the back straight and you'll try to look straight. Maybe it's not possible to do this posture as she's doing on the first week but it will come within five to six months. Consistency will bring the success slowly with time. To come back again you need to flex your knees, you need to bend your knees. You hold your elbows, inhale, come up with the straight back, straight trunk. We'll repeat again. Exhale, you slowly bend as Kitty is doing. She is slowly going to flex the knee, keeping the back straight to build the core strength, what helps you to lift the weight to put the things. She keep the back straight and try to open the hamstrings. Slowly with the time, the hamstrings go tight and they have also a bad effect on your back. Kitty will slowly bend the knee. She hold her elbows and slowly come with the straight back up. One more time, exhale, bend forward, bend the knee, keeping the arm straight. This is a basic exercise what is also taught even to the young people with the stiff legs, stiff hamstrings, the back of the thighs and this will help you to do the basic forward bends much more easily within a couple of weeks.
it's extremely safe. Slowly bend on the knee, hold your elbow and slowly come up. Exhaling, arms down. We'll do one more exercise, especially for the shoulder joints and the opening of the chest. Inhale, open your arms, take it back towards the spine, exhale, arms forward. Inhaling, arms back, exhale, bring it forward. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, this helps to remove the hunch, especially with an age, the back muscles become weak and you can stay here for five to ten breaths. This is the last exercise and doing this every day will improve your posture, improve your this locomotive actions and you can slowly join the normal yoga classes within two months. So have a good practice and good health.